Hello, everyone. This is the voice of you who's free on the show. Ashley here coming at you with my August update. Um, I don't do monthly updates anymore because there's really not that much to talk about. But this one, there is several things I want to talk to you about. And it's actually positive things. There's no negative things. Um, before I get started here, if you all haven't seen the video I did on Wednesday, where I talked about, you know, streams are going to be postponed. Um, I'm kind of, I kind of like that video. Uh, streams will be still continuing, even if I don't have my new computer. I do have my back one, back up one. Luckily, it's just, you know, I was just bitter. I'm so kind of bitter about the whole situation with my new computer, um, which is understandable. You know, when you get something and then it's like, you know, it doesn't work the way that it attended like here's the thing the time that i got out of that new pc it's freaking amazing it's it's a beast it's exactly what i wanted um it's just you know i we think that during shipping you know maybe the motherboard could have been damaged a little bit like who knows so either way it is what it is i will i will have that computer still i just have to wait a little longer but anyways Let's start with videos, like I always do, um, like I always like to say to our new subscribers, is I always like to start out with um, my upload schedule, so that this will get you all familiar with my up upload schedule, so that if I uh, do something different a day, then you guys won't be like, wait, what the heck? Now, obviously, not everyone that's subscribed to me watches watches these videos, even though they should. Um, it is what it is. So, yeah, and also, before I get started here, I want to uh, say hello to all the new subscribers. I'm really glad that you guys, you know, liked my content enough to uh, put your faith in me and my videos and all that and my skill. So, thank you all for being here. Alright, so, Mondays. Those are still Shadow Days. You know, Shadow Reacts, Shadow Comic Dubs. You know, that day is pretty much set in stone as Shadow the Hedgehog Mondays. Tuesdays is what changed. Um, it started out as .exe. Like I said, .exe is not gone from the channel. He's just kind of taking a more back burner role. Um... I might bring him back if, like, a comic dub needs him, or if I, you know, it, or if, like, Mizuki or someone wants to do a preparation with him. But other than that, in terms of having a day just for him, that's fully gone now. And then I ended up switching it to where, well, why do I make Tuesdays be for comic dubs? Which, that did work. But, there was one more, but when I was taking a break, from uh, YouTube because I got burned out. A uh, part of the reason why I was burned out was because, you know, fighting against the algorithm, you know, finding my place in the stream of content creation can be hard. And, you know, as YouTubers, you always want to do something that will stand out amongst your peers. And because there are a lot of people that does voice acting stuff, um, and you know, a lot of them don't like being called character channels, but that's what they are, that's what they started as, that's what they will always be known as. You know, it is what it is. Fuel fit. But, I woke up one morning, and this was during my break, and I just had this idea just came to me. Why don't I start doing theories, what-ifs, and lore discussion videos with Sonic the Hedgehog. If it's my channel, if it's my demographic, you guys come here for Sonic content, and it still counts. It's just not me voicing a character. So why not I try to become kind of like the geekdom 101 of Sonic. Now, just in case people don't know who he is, he's a big Dragon Ball YouTuber who I respect a whole lot um, because of him. It's actually part of the reason why I started to really enjoy Dragon Ball a lot more. 
And for all you Dragon Ball fans that might be a little jaded towards the franchise, go watch these videos. Because Dragon Ball is very deep. It's just that one of those things to where a good storyteller doesn't have to say things. You know, sometimes a storyteller might want the audience to figure it out on their own. I do think Toriyama definitely does that. But, yeah, I, I figured why not, you know? I've, you know, we always talk about, the, you know, we always talk about Sonic in my, in my streams. Ugh, allergies suck. Um, so, why not? And if this works out, if, some, if for some reason my, those, those videos do better, then maybe I might do a channel rebrand. Um, you know, to where, I, to where maybe I just have Sonic and Shadow do, like, kind of be the voice of the channel. And while the other three days just be for, you know, maybe have one day for theories, have another day for what ifs, or have, like, another day for lore or something like that. Now, obviously, that is extremely hard because, which I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just saying, like, if it gets to that point, I might maybe add, like, an, like an extra day or, or something. Um, because, I guess, for me, I, you know, like, right now, my whole theories right now are kind of not there, so I'm thinking about, uh, maybe going in and, do, and doing some lore, I'm not sure what, what my first topic is going to be yet, but, um, I'm thinking about possibly going with the history of Supersonic, maybe? You know, we'll see. And, but yeah, actually, this is a good segue to talk about one stream I'm going to be doing from now on. Is I'm going to be doing a live theory, what if, lore, uh, lore, let me rephrase that, I'm tired, so my apologies. Uh, a live Sonic discussions theory, or what ifs live stream, and what's going to be cool about this is that, you know, you guys can, um, you know, suggest to me some, I, some theories or some what ifs, and I can, you know, explain on the channel, and who knows, if that, or if any of those ideas are good enough, I might actually make, like, a sand low video, and I will credit you. You know, I think that would be a, a fun thing to do. It's a little bit different. Um, so, why not? Now, does this mean I'll start covering Sonic News? I mean, that is a possibility. I might. But right now, I want to focus on getting this whole thing down, which I got to start writing notes so I don't forget anything. Um... And part of the reason why I've been having Mizu in there is that so that while I'm getting used to doing this, she can keep me on track a little bit. And so yeah, I hope you all are enjoying this. This last three video was extremely interesting because, you know, we talked about a game that is not seen in a positive light in the Sonic community. But I figured, you know, why not? No one has talked about that. Like, seriously. So I figured, why not? It's something different to talk about Sonic Wise. And I think that was a super fun theory to talk about because it would make a lot of sense grown by the proof that we have is that, yeah, Mephiles would frame Shadow. Um, so yeah, Wednesday are still Broly's. Are still uh, Broly days, so I will, which I will be continuing uh, Broly plays Super Meat Boy. It just sucks that I can't use my new computer for it, but it is what it is. <laughs> you know, that's part of life. You have to overcome stuff, and I'm not the, you know, I'm probably not the first person that built or bought a pretty tanky PC like this and something happened to it or something. You know, it is what it is, part of life. 
And like I said, you know, the one positive from this is that I'll be able to hang out with uh, Mizuki in real life. So that's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to that. We're going to have fun. Um, so yeah, Wednesday, so well, at least uh, Thursdays are so Sonic. And Friday is still, you know, Scourge the Hedgehog. So, recording wise, there's only been like one change. Um, now when it comes to live streams, other than that one special live stream I'm going to be doing every week, everything else is pretty much the same. You know, I'll stream what I want to stream. Um, you know, I don't mind if people give me stream ideas. Uh, there was this love, this person last time that was telling me to stream this one game. And it's like, nah, I'm going to stream what I want to stream. Now, if people were to start requesting me to play a certain game, then yes, I will probably, you know, I will probably be like, you know what, why not? Because as what people know, as what people have probably tell, I will always put my audience before myself. Which, a lot of YouTubers all do that, at least YouTubers that do the same stuff as me. Well, the ones I know anyways. So that's why, to me, you guys are a big part of my channel, and it's a give or take situation between me and you guys. You know, I still do stuff that I want to do, but I don't mind having you guys give me ideas of what to do, which I might start going back to maybe accepting re, uh, reactions requests. So, if you all have any reactions you want me to definitely do, uh, comment down the name and we'll track them down. So, because I want to get back to having the channel be what it's about, and that's about my bond with you guys. And not to mention, too, you know, I have that interview series that I'm starting back up, and um, speaking of signing news, uh, Johnny G-O-L-E teased something on Twitter about the Sonic movie. So, if, if that is actually a tease that they're currently in talks for Chris 40 to appear in the movie, which they better, I already know when I will be doing a follow-up interview with him. So, I just have to message his assistant. Um, I'm not comfortable to go directly to him yet. I want to, yeah. And I'm going to try and get back to trying to try contact Ryan Drummond. If that doesn't work, I'll, I'll try to get him up. Eventually, I might maybe get, uh, actually, I might get uh, the creator of Sonic, R, uh, Sonic and Tails R. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, I became a big fan of her series. Because she brought a lot of voice actors that we haven't heard from in so long to reprise the roles. Like, Jason Griffin with Shadow the Hedgehog, which he's my favorite Shadow voice hands down. And she even got the original Silver to do some stuff, so... I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean... You know, that's the thing, is that... That's something that I think... That when you have people that call the Sonic fan base toxic... That's something that people don't understand, is that, you know... Sega and their fans are close-knit. You know, that's why they... Allow us to make fan or allow us to make fan games. You know, they're not anal about us using their music for stuff. Like, just to show you, I mean, you all saw it. When I mentioned that my intro and outro was what it was, I am made of and, and, um, I am all of me. You know, Johnny was really touched by that. So, that... You know, if he had a problem with it, he would have just told me, like, no, 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 you know, you, you shouldn't do that. You know, that definitely, you know, that's, that interview, despite the little bit of a rockiness I had with his assistant a little bit there, um, it went really, really well. And so I'm going to keep doing these interviews for you guys. And... 
you know, and if this is the current wave that my channel is going into, then, you know, I'll accept it. Because I, like I always say, I don't, I want to be creative. I want to be able to stand out amongst the crowd. And honestly, I do feel like I've gotten to the point of, well, I've done everything that I can as a voice acting YouTuber. I feel like the only thing I can do now is doing my Project Archie and my MDA animations and maybe voice acting my, my spy animations, which those are pretty big projects. So, which is also why I'm a little bit peeved about the computer situation was because I had a software on there before the technical support told us to try to restore the computer, which removed all the stuff I had downloaded on there. Well, stuff I and Mizuki downloaded because she... Which, I, I, I feel bad for her because she took her time to help me with that by updating it and getting, you know, the basic stuff on there, the essentials. And now it's like we we probably shouldn't have touched it. So, yeah, guys, you guys can tell, it, it's bothered me greatly. Because they are already saying that it's going to be possibly a month wait for it to get fixed. So, I'm, I'm, ba I'm basically back to square one, which it, it's not Mizuki's fault, it's not their fault. Um, I think something happened during shipping when uh, it was coming from Mizuki's house to me, and honestly, I should have just told, I, I should, I think that Mizuki had a gut feeling, and I said this in Wednesday's video, and I should have just listened to her, and be like, okay, well, just bring up yourself. So, but like I said, that's life, right? Um, what else? Oh yeah, Project Archie. A perfect segue, once and once again. I'm getting pretty freaking good at this, aren't I? I have decided that we're still looking for a Snively and a Rotor, a permanent Snively and Rotor voice actor. Um, but for now, because I'm ready to get started, I'm ready to start the, the auditions process. We will have two of the cast temporarily be standing, stands in for Snively and Rotor. So, I uh, already have one person that has offered the help for that. I'm going to talk to them more about it once we have the full cast. Now, like I said before, this has nothing to do with uh, the fan of Chaos. This is my project. It's kind of like how Avatar Last Pimp Bender is their project. This has no affiliation with the Phantom of Chaos, other than having similar people that's in both. Other than that, this is my project. And like I said, I'm open to the Phantom of Chaos using my comic clubs, using my Project Cars videos. But they have to credit me. And Mizuki. And when it comes to Project Archie, they also have to credit um, all the voice actors a part of it as well. But I get the funniest feeling that if that were to happen, me, uh, me and Mizuki would probably edit it to where there's like a fan of chaos edit to where to where it has the titles. It probably has the credits. Seen, you know, the, the credits and probably has a thing on there. And then there's the... And then there's my channel edit to where it has my intro and outro along with that end screen credit. Like, basically, the version for the, the fan cast wouldn't have my intro and outro. Even though, technically, it probably should, but... You know, I gotta play nice and all that. Um... I think that's... Oh, yeah. Uh, my second channel. The, the second channel isn't dead. It's just that this whole computer has... This whole computer situation has made me... Like I said, not want to be near a computer. I don't want to be on a computer. I don't even want to think about computers right now. So that's kind of why that channel has kind of 
dipped. Um, the third channel, luckily, I can just record that off my phone, so... I will I actually find enough. Um, we're going to be recording our first collab on Tuesday. If they, if they, um, yeah, Tuesday, which is with our buddy Rob, aka Red or Blue, um, fans of our third channel will know who that is. But I will be recording a video today. I'm going to do, now these videos are going to be a little bit shorter because I'm going to have to extend it because I need more merchandise. You know, some more packs and all that. So I'm, I'm going to do one partner pack per video. So I guess in a way you can kind of consider these shorts a little bit, kind of. But yeah, uh, that's it for this update video. I hope you all enjoy. Uh, let me know down below what you think. And as always, I'll be seeing you all in the next one. Later, guys.